The following program is sponsored by the friends and partners of Run With Fire Ministries. Hi, I'm David Fields, and you're watching All Together Now with my mom and dad. <laughs> You're watching all together. And you're watching all together now. And you're watching all together now. We're talking about worship, salvation, and healing. And you're watching all together. God's gonna get a hold of you. Did you hear me? I said God's gonna get a hold of you. Get ready because your life is about to get rocked. It's about Jesus. Founded on salvation. Worship and healing. We run with fire. Sounds of revival. Intimate worship. And fresh word. Live from the Run With Fire studio in Orlando, Florida. All together now. With Roy and Melanie Fields.
Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Welcome to All Together Now. I'm your host, Roy Fields. And I'm his wife, Melanie, and we're glad to have you join us. We are. It's another program here on All Together Now, and we want to ask you a question. Have you been enjoying these programs that we've been putting out every week? Because these really are for you, the viewer, so you can get into the presence of the Lord. It's so crucial in today's society and who we are as children of God and those who don't know the Lord to come into his presence. You know, I want to say from the top of the program, Adam in the garden, when God created man, when he sinned against God, he ran away after he committed the sin instead of running to God. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us get that wrong. We should run to God. Mm -hmm. I bet you things would have been different had Adam run to the Lord. Yeah, I guess we'll never know, will we? We'll never know. <laughs> but here's the thing is that today you can run to the Lord. And we want to give you an uh, opportunity right now to call that number on your screen, 877-736-7664. We want to hear from you. Are you enjoying these programs? Is God ministering to you in your living room, in the place that you're watching this program? Let us know. You can also write us by P.O. Box 896, Kathleen, Florida, 33849. And if you call in today, I have a special offer for you today. I want to send you, for a love gift of $10 or more, my CD, All Together Now. That song, In the Presence of Angels, is on this CD. It's the studio version. We did this in Nashville, and I believe it'll really bless you. And if you want to give more than that, and you say, we really believe in what you and Melanie are doing, we want to send you this DVD. It's got 18 songs, behind the scenes features, and almost three hours of footage that will take you into the presence of the Lord. And then the CD along with that, which is 14 songs, you can listen to it in your car or put it on your computer or whatever. I'm gonna throw in that All Together Now Studio CD for your love gift of $35 today to the ministry, but you gotta call that number on the screen right now. Pick up that phone, call 877-736 7664. I want to get that in your hands. I believe it'll bless you. And so, Melanie, I want to talk to you and to the viewers today about the song in the presence of angels, because you and I both know as we've traveled around the world that that song has a lot of meaning to us personally, yeah. but it's literally touched, I would dare to say, millions around the world. Is yeah. that true? Yes. And, um, and consistently as we travel, it's been one of the most requested and favorite songs. Um, and it's funny because, you know, we, Roy would, you know, often be asked the question, how do you write songs, Roy? And I, and you know, it's funny, I always knew what he was going to say. <laughs> I'm not a songwriter. And I'm like, right. you know, but there was something that happened that was so special that brought this song out. And, you know, the, the Lord's given you a lot of songs and you've really come a long way in that. But this one actually took us by surprise. We weren't expecting it, but God kind of did something special in that. Well, I want to say something. I believe there's people watching right now that God has given you songs. You might not be an artist or a writer or a worship leader, but God gives people things and he wants us to do something with it. Yeah. He wants us to steward what we have in our hands. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that song in the presence of angels was written during a time that you and I were traveling up and down the east coast of America from Maine down to Florida, right. believing God to move in signs and wonders and revival. Yeah. And at the time, people didn't want revival. They yeah. were saying, the, remember that? The yeah. fire of God is gone. It's, yeah. it's We're moving on to something new. I thought, how do you get past being in the presence of the Lord? How do you get past revival? Mm -hmm. But we were at a meeting in a house with about 20 people. Yeah. And at the end of the night, what happened to me is I got lost in worship, as you do. I, I constantly love to spend time with the Lord all by myself. And uh, in the middle of the night, for almost two hours, I kept hearing this. And Melanie, I pictured millions. And I mean, I remember seeing this. I pictured millions of angels. Almost like they weren't ballroom dancing with each other, but they were moving in kind of a cadence and there was like this huge white throne and worship was just going up like an incense and an offering. And they kept saying, holy, 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 over and over and over again. Mm. And I could not stop. And I looked out at my watch, it had been almost three hours now that I was lost just worshiping, singing the same words mm -hmm. to the, four, the same four chords this whole time. Mm -hmm. 
Now, you've had moments like that in your worship. I have, and, you know, the the song, which ended up becoming so, you know, so well used during the revival in Lakeland, it was just <laughs> constantly being played, and why, you know, it's like, it's just so simple, holy, 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 and sometimes you'd sing glory, 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 so simple, but I think... There was like a key in it that so many people forget in this generation. They're mm. looking for this awesome, cool song, or they want to throw out this really cool prophetic utterance. Yeah. And there's place for that. But I think sometimes we've forgotten that worship really is about taking your focus off of off of ourselves and putting it on the Lord. When we were in this revival meeting and we had people from all over the world, I can remember standing next to people, Roy, that I knew did not even speak English. I could hear them speaking right. some kind of Oriental language right. or some kind of Scandinavian language. I didn't even recognize or they were speaking Spanish. And yet I can remember that they would all join in on the course because it was so simple. And it was like this, cl- this just core of people begin to just focus on God and I just that unity and that power of magnifying God you would just feel this just powerful presence and unity just come into the room and I think that was a huge key it's an actual tangible experience you know and some people they you know in the church as well and obviously if you're watching Christian television at all today you get all kinds of ideas and opinions I don't want to speak opinions or ideas I really want to stick to the Word of God. Yeah. All I know is that when you have an encounter with God, and I mean a real encounter with God, it is an experience. Yeah, definitely. And you know, people are crying out. I know you that are watching right now, you're crying out for something real. You're saying, I actually want to experience God. I hear about this stuff, but I don't necessarily believe it. Well, I'm telling you, you're talking to a few people here today that we know what it's like to experience God, and we can't get enough of Him. Mm. But it's an experience when you come in the presence of the Lord. You know what? Let's quickly go to Revelation. I want to read something to you out of Revelation chapter 4 and verse 8. This is what heaven's like. Now, this may be a little odd to you, too. Okay, but listen to this. It says in verse 8 of Revelation chapter 4, The four living creatures, each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within, which tells you that some angels and some... Some things that you can't explain. John said, I, there's things I saw in heaven I can't explain. Mm-hmm. It's a fearful thing to be in the presence of an angel because that angel has been with God. Read on to verse uh, 8 here. It says, And they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Verse 9, Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever. And it goes on in verse 10, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, verse 11, Melanie. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will they exist and they were created. So at the end of this scripture, it's a it's a perfect picture of what's going on in heaven. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it's going on 24 hours a day since the beginning of time. And actually, I believe before the beginning of time that the Lord has been worshipped by angels and creatures and all of creation worshipped the Lord. Jesus said when he was coming into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey, the, the, the disciples and all the people were crying out, Hosanna! And and the the the, <laughs> the Pharisees, the couldn't sees and the wouldn't sees said, you need to shush them up, tell them to be quiet. He says, if they don't praise the Lord, the rocks themselves will cry out. Wow, that's powerful. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not waiting for any rock to take my place to worship the Lord. He deserves all the honor, all the praise, and all the glory. And that's what we're here to do today. Do me a favor, pick up that phone and call us today. The number's on your screen, and we're going to come right back after this. We want to pray with some of you, and we got some more to talk about this, about being in the presence of angels is like being in the presence of Almighty God. We'll be right back right after this. We'll be right back to All Together Now.
Well, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this, and now it's here. The final release of the stand-up CD and DVD. And even if you miss the concert, you're going to be so excited for this recording. It's so powerful. There's going to be 14 songs on this CD, and then the DVD is just packed with 18 songs. And then these spontaneous um, interviews and just the testimony of Roy's life. We all caught it. It was like an impromptu decision. And the worship night was so amazing. And I know you guys are really excited about this. So we want to get it in your hands if you'll just visit the, the site that's on your screen right now. For your love gift of $35 or more, we want to get it right into your hands. We now return to All Together Now. My friend, I want to ask you a very important question today. In fact, this is the most important question we ask on this entire program. If you were to die today, do you know where you would end up? There is hope for you today. You know, I know you're hurting out there. I know you're watching this right now and you're thinking, man, I've already been to church and I've already gone to these meetings and some of you have not even experienced a meeting or gone to church. But I want to ask you something today and that is, have you ever asked Jesus Christ to be the Lord and Savior of your life? I want to read something out of Romans chapter 3, verse 23. It says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. My friends, all of us have blown it. All of us have messed up. And if you think that you're a good person and you're going to get into heaven on your good works, you've already made a mistake. It's only through the power and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to give your life today? It's very easy. You can just simply yield your heart to God today. And I want you to pray this prayer after me. Would you close your eyes right now? Just as a sign of surrender, just lift your hands up right now in your home and just say this after me. Say, Dear Father, I come to you today. I come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of my sin. I ask you to wash my heart clean. Take out the stone. Put in a heart of flesh. Allow me to love again. Thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for raising again on the third day. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to live in me. Jesus, thank you for making me worthy when I was not worthy. I receive your forgiveness today. I believe it, and therefore I receive it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise God. Listen, that's real, friend. If you prayed that prayer and it was from your heart, all of heaven heard what you said today. Every demon in hell heard what you said today. And today, you'll never be the same again. You're going to have challenges, but now you've given your life to the Lord. And he can fight your battles for you. It never gets old to do this with you. If you prayed that prayer, I want you to call in right now. Pick up that phone. Call the number on your screen, 877-736-7664. You can also write us today at P.O. Box 896, Kathleen, Florida, 33849. Now, you say, what do I do now? Well, I have something that you can actually do that will bless you. If you prayed that prayer of salvation today, I want to offer something to you today. And it's an act of, you know, believing that God can do this for you. Spending time in worship is the most important part of your life because it gets you quiet, silent, and you can hear the Lord's voice. And, of course, spending time in His Word as well. But if you call in today, I want to send you this CD of All Together Now. I, ta I mentioned this in the top of the program. If you'll send in a love gift for $10 to the ministry, we want to bless you with it today. And then if you'll send in $35 or more, and this is to anybody today, we're going to send you the DVD of Stand Up. It's got 18 songs, of course, and behind-the-scenes footage. It's almost three hours of footage with worship. And then, of course, the CD Stand Up. All of this, I'll throw this in, $35 or more to the ministry, and it'll be a blessing to you. It'll keep you in that place of worship. All right? Call that number on your screen right now. We want to hear from you. Melanie, we've got about three minutes left. You know, I, I say this every week, but it's so important for people 
to turn their lives to the Lord mm -hmm. and to live for Him and spend time in His presence. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree with that? I do. And I know sometimes, Roy, people are going through things in their life and they find it difficult to get really quiet, don't they? You know, because they're, when they get quiet, all I can think about is all the finances or the sickness or the things they're going through. And so we get that. And what we're trying to say is um, where you might turn on the TV or you might run to the doctors, there's nothing like the comfort that the presence of the Lord brings. Yeah. It'll bring peace to your spirit and peace to your heart. And you know, I just, uh, I'm just tried to find a few. We've gotten t so many testimonies from just this one song in the presence of angels that you wrote. And we're not actually trying to lift up the song we're showing what people experience when they get into that place of worship yeah. with God in fact right? I, I don't like to say that I wrote it I like to say that I heard it it was already written in heaven but we've had many people that have written in and, and sent us emails over the years of people that we've had people pass away while they passed to away peacefully while listening to the presence of angels it's like they're crossing over from earth into heaven it was like there was no difference because it was they were already there. Yeah, it was like experiencing the throne room. Yeah. They just passed right over. Read some of those. Let's hear them real quickly. So this one person re reminds me of what we were talking about, that atmosphere of unity. They said, I have never heard such reverence, awe, and unity as I did while the song was sang mm. as we worship God one to one. And here's one I, I thought was ex was awesome because they were saying this is the first time they ever had one of those experiences, their own experience with God. And this may be you, maybe you've never experienced this before, but this person put on the song in the presence of angels. And he says, one time I got stuck in the best way in my car, singing holy, holy, holy for about five hours. And the Holy Spirit stayed with me for the whole time. Anyone who was watching me with my hands raised to him must have thought that I, w I lost my mind. Ha ha. Um, but they were, they were having their first experience with the Lord. Wow. And, um, you know, this is what we're trying to share with you that, there's something about getting in that place of encountering the Lord that can transform your life. Absolutely. You know? I mean, even we had a police officer that put oh, that yeah. on, you know, put it on oh, while he was, was so powerful. Um, he was driving on a regular patrol and he put on this song and you know, this whole story, right? Yeah. He was driving down the road. He was going on a pursuit. This is just a police officer. He was playing in the presence of angels. He's going 85 miles per hour. All of a sudden a deer jumps and flies out in front of him. He tries to steer the wheel, he can't, and all of a sudden the car just does a 360 and then keeps on going. And he says, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And he goes back to the place that he went there, and the tracks are like missing 35 yards apart. He says, it was like Roy, an angel picked me up and spun me around. Wow. So, I mean, those are powerful things that happen. But, you know, the whole purpose of us talking about this this week is just to get you in the presence of the Lord. And th there are angels that minister to you. There are angels looking over you right now because God sent them to minister to you. And uh, we want to encourage you on this program. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't put them on man. Don't put them on Roy and Melanie or any other preacher or messenger. Keep them on Jesus. He's the one. He is the one that you're going to come to at the end of your life. And it's going to be you and him. There'll be nobody else there. Mm. We sure hope you've enjoyed the program. We love you so much, and we want you to tell everybody about this program. We need to hear from you, so call that number on your screen. We want to hear from you. We so thank you for tuning in. And you know what? We're going to be right here the same time next week on All Together Now. Same time. Same channel. God bless you. See you. The following program was paid for by the friends and partners of Run With Fire Ministries.